In Decision 2020 coverage, now Election Day, just under three weeks away. On your ballot is a race stirring up debate, and it doesn't even contain candidates. It's the proposed tax amendment. Some proponents named it the fair tax, but opponents say it is anything but. 13 News reporter Mary Sugden explains what it would do and what people for and against the amendment want you to know. They say there's two certainties in life, death and taxes. But what remains uncertain is the income tax that Illinoisans will pay following this election. But it's no surprise the topic of taxes in Illinois sparks debate. I plan to vote no on it because uh, during the pandemic, people are, people are hurting. And you know, there's a lot of people that can't pay their rent, their mortgages, buy food, put food on the table. And this is the absolute wrong time for this. I'm gonna vote for the progressive tax. I feel like it would be a fair situation for uh, all of Rockfordians and Illinoisans. There's a lot of people struggling uh, below poverty level. Some people who can't even afford to pay their bills. I voted no for it because I don't want them raising my taxes without some kind of representation. You know, I mean, to me, it's just crazy. But let's get down to what this amendment would change. Right now, if you live in Illinois, your income is taxed at a flat rate of 4.95%. The flat tax says that someone who's making a huge amount of money, say a million dollars, uh, pays the same percentage of income as someone who's making, say, 30000 a year. But if the tax amendment is approved, not everyone will pay the same percentage. Here's how it would work for a single filer. If they make $10,000 or less a year, they'd be taxed 4.75%. If they make up to $100,000, a 4.9% tax. Above that, to $250,000, you'd pay the current rate of 4.95%. People who would pay the highest rate, 7.99%, are those making more than $750,000 a year. Which is vertical equity, which is the more someone has the ability to pay, the more they ought to pay, or the reverse, the less someone has the ability to pay, the lower should be their tax liability. Governor Pritzker says the change would bring in $3.4 billion more per year. Proponents of the amendment say the flat rate is outdated, with Illinois being one of only nine states in the U.S. to use one, arguing it prevents Illinois from properly funding public services. And this can cause budget deficits at every level of government, pushes up property taxes, and can force harmful cuts to education, uh, human services, health care, infrastructure, public safety, and jobs. Audra Wilson, president and CEO of the Shriver Center on Poverty Law, believes the proposed amendment doesn't give legislators any more powers than they already have, and believes the structure holds the power to relieve property tax burdens and provide relief to many families, especially low- and middle-class working families. And under the fair tax or graduate rate income tax, 97% of taxpayers would actually get a tax cut. Some opponents claim this graduated tax system would open up retirement income to new taxes, but Wilson says that's not factual. As a matter of fact, Illinois is only one of a dozen states that does not collect income tax on any retirement income, such as a 401k, IRA, pension, social security benefits. The fair tax reform does not change that. But opponents firmly disagree, saying Illinois is overtaxed. Our gas tax just doubled. Our vehicle licensing fee almost doubled. A cigarette tax was levied. We are already paying the second highest property taxes in the country. And now they want to raise our taxes even higher. Lisa Druss with the Coalition to Stop the Proposed Tax Hike Amendment argues the amendment provides legislators unregulated power and no limits on tax rates they could set. We are not voting on tax rates. We are voting on just giving the ability, giving Springfield unyielding power to raise taxes whenever they want and create as many brackets as they want and change them whenever they want. Druss argues voters would be giving the state a blank check due to the amendment failing to indicate where the revenue would be spent and believes the state needs to reel in its spending before it looks for new revenue. She adds the timing couldn't be worse. We're going through COVID. We're in an economic crisis and this is the worst possible time to raise our taxes. If this amendment fails, Northern Illinois University Public Administration Chair Kurt Thurmeyer believes voters would be naive to think this will be the last income tax tweak floated by the state. If they expect that the flat tax is going to say the same, I think they're mistaken because the state needs more money to be able to pay pensions and also to reduce property taxes. A certainty that taxes will remain. However, what rate you pay and the structure is ultimately in your hands as a voter. 
For your 13 Weather Authority, Mary Sugden, 13 News. So let's talk about that question you will actually see on your ballot. For voters to understand the phrasing on the ballot, a yes vote will mean to repeal the flat tax rate, allow for the implementation of that graduated income tax. A no vote opposes the amendment and would keep the flat rate that we currently have intact.